folks. Hey, thanks for being patient there for that commercial break. We're back here on KCAA Radio. This is Patrick Franz, the Note Mentor on the Real Men of Real Estate radio show. We're talking about mortgage note investing. And before I uh, went to break there, I was letting you guys know that uh, I'm going to give you guys some idea of maybe why you don't know about mortgage notes and why it doesn't seem so popular, even though it's so great. Any movie buffs out there, you may have seen this movie called The Big Short and Brad Pitt and a few other wonderful actors are in it. And uh, for no other reason besides the fact that it's just a good movie uh, that I believe was came out in 2008. But The Big Short is a movie that really helps explain and depict what happened in 2008 um, with the mortgage meltdown. And forgive me, I believe this movie came out after that, but it expl- the movie explains the mortgage meltdown in 2008 and, and depicts it very well. And so uh, just a great movie for movie buffs. But if you want to go ahead and watch it to try to concentrate on what really made mortgage note investing popular in just the last few years. And here's what happened, folks. Most of the promissory notes secured by mortgages have been owned in the past by large institutions and banks have been trading these notes back and forth with one another for quite some time. Uh, and, uh, you know, the folks that could write very large checks, I mean, hundred million dollar checks and those kinds of things could sit at the lunch table and hear about these deals from bank to bank or fund to fund. And it's been going on a really long time. I think some folks who have been borrowers and taken out a mortgage loan, have felt the brunt of this by receiving a letter in the mail saying, you know, hey, Wells Fargo was your original uh, mortgager and they have transferred your loan to, say, Chase Bank. And so as a borrower, maybe you might have received a letter in the mail known as a transfer letter where it said your mortgage has been transferred from bank to bank. And so now you have to send your mortgage payment in every month to somebody different. And uh, I I hate to tell everybody what happened there, but uh, your mortgage was transferred. That means sold. It means somebody sold your mortgage note to somebody else. And uh, so that movie, The Big Short, just depicts how all the mortgage meltdown happened in 08. And some of the larger banks and funds had to sell off millions of these uh, mortgage notes at pennies on the dollar pennies on the dollar. And I don't have time on this radio show to go into an explanation of how all that happened. It was had to do with bad financing and bad loans being handed out left and right and pretty much destroyed the financial market and crashed the real estate. Everybody knows that. But most folks don't know that the secondary market where individual folks, individual investors like me and like you, after 2009 and 10, it started to flourish a lot of people now were able to just pick up one of these mortgage notes for their portfolio rather than pick up another rental property and deal with all the headaches. Now, I, I want you guys to understand something. If you buy one of these notes, people always ask me, well, is it is it is it risky? Sure, everything can be risky. Is it is it safe? I don't know. The, is, safe's a tough word. It's secured by real estate, but is it safe? Eh, I don't know. <laughs> Seek legal counsel to find out. But I will tell you this. If you buy a performing mortgage note, and performing meaning that somebody's living at the house and they're just paying their mortgage payment on time every month like a good borrower and such, There's only three possible outcomes, folks, that can happen if you own one of these mortgage notes. Let's see if you agree. Let's say there's 20 years left on a mortgage note, 240 months left for somebody to pay on their mortgage. Is it possible that, number one, they could pay as agreed, meaning that somebody could just go ahead and make their mortgage payment on time every single month for the next 20 years? Well, kind of unlikely that they wouldn't sell the house before then or that they wouldn't refinance or something in those 20 years. It's kind of rare, but sure, it could happen. You could buy one of these mortgage notes and you could collect the mortgage payments for 20 years straight, not have any problems. And that would mean they just paid as agreed. And oftentimes we're getting wonderful yields uh, with these investments. And so it wouldn't be bad to make a great yield for the next 20 years on your money. And have it grow at a certain rate. That'd be awesome. 
I think most people can agree with that. And, you know, another thing that could happen, like I just mentioned, is that throughout those 20 years, that homeowner that's paying the mortgage to you could do what's called early payoff. They could refinance with a different bank or they could sell their house and move to Florida to retire. Uh, but either way, we as the mortgage note investor would get paid the total payoff balance. And I don't think I mentioned to you folks, but these notes are purchased at a discount. If somebody owes the bank a hundred grand, I can maybe go in and pick that note up for 90,000. And so since you've invested in the beginning less than what they owe, usually when the second option of early payoff happens, it usually is good for you as the bank. It actually usually ups your return on investment. It makes your yield better. And uh, that is because we're able to buy mortgage notes at a discount. Okay. And number three, the third thing that can happen if you get one of these notes in your portfolio, and this is the scariest one for folks usually, and they say, Patrick, what happens if I own one of these mortgage notes and they stop paying? Well, you know, that's okay. I, I was nervous about that at first. And I thought, well, what do you do then? And I always just usually reply to people, well, what does the bank do when you don't pay your mortgage? <laughs> and so, you know, remember, we sign a, a mortgage document, give it to the bank, and we are pledging our physical house as collateral that the bank can take back if we stop paying our mortgage. And so, folks, I mean, you know, if I'm not talking specific yields here today or anything like that, but just take a look at that. If you bought one of these performing mortgage notes, you're collecting monthly cash flow with a good yield. And you have collateral that is a physical piece of real estate backing your investment. None of those things really can be disastrous. Number one, they could pay as agreed and you could collect a nice yield for the next 20 years with monthly cash flow. Number two, they could refinance or they could go ahead and sell the house and you'd get what's called early payoff. That could actually boost your yield since these notes are bought at a discount. Or number three, they could, in fact, stop paying and become delinquent. And remember, as the note investor, we do have a document that that borrower has pledged to the bank, that's us, pledged their physical house as collateral if they don't come true to the terms listed on that promissory note. So, folks, I, I think maybe some of you now can say, well, wow, if this isn't too good to be true, it just very, very well may be one of the best investments out there. And yes, you're right. You are right. And so, you know, folks, here, here's something that I'll give you is, is that uh, as a note investor, once you get your experience, you somehow uh, come up with favorite exit strategies. And just so you understand, if you bought one of these performing notes, uh, my personal top five favorite exit strategies for performing notes are number one, buy and hold, buy it and hold it, <laughs> put a mortgage note in your portfolio and collect very passive cash flow with a nice yield month after month, after month, after year, after year. And boy, if you can accumulate more than one or more than five or more than 10 of these in a portfolio, the monthly cash flow really starts to be substantial. And again, you can live off of that cash flow and let it help you supplement your lifestyle or supplement your retirement. Or you can actually compound all that cash flow and reinvest it to grow your wealth. Another one that people um, love to hear about is that I, you can flip a note just like you can flip a house. But the difference in flipping a note, folks, is that you don't have to lift a hammer or hire a crew or buy materials or any of that. Remember, we, we're not flipping the physical property. But what if I said you could flip the promissory note? It's possible, folks. It's possible. I could say buy a promissory note for $50,000 and I could sell it three weeks later to some other note investor for $56,000 and I could just make $6,000 in three weeks. It is possible, folks. It is possible. What if I said you could modify a performing note? And some folks would say, well, why would somebody living in their house 
want to do a loan modification if they're paying their mortgage payment on time every month. That sounds odd. Well, you know, it's not so odd. What if they had 20 years left before they paid their house off? And what if I asked them, maybe they'd like to pay their house off in 15 years? Well, by changing the loan terms, it could work out for that borrower. And it also could work out by increasing your yield or monthly cash flow. Now, you could also hold it for a short amount of time and flip it. What I mean to say is you could buy a mortgage note. You could hold on to it for a year or two, collect all that monthly cash flow, and then sell it because these are very liquid investments. And with all the new note investors getting into this these days, uh, there's no shortage of people that will certainly buy a good note from you. And the last or my fifth uh, top exit strategy for performing notes is instigating early payoff. And what I mean to say is that folks, if we're able to buy these notes at a discount, the day we purchase a note, we have instant equity. And so just for a rounded example, if they owe the bank $100,000 and we're able to go in and buy this note for $90,000, we actually have a $10,000 we call spread there based on uh, what we invested and what we're owed, okay? And so what if I just instigated early payoff by sending a letter uh, to the uh, borrower through my licensed loan servicing company and just saying, hey, I'll give you... $2,000 discount or $3,000 discount on the balance you owe if you're able to pay this off within the next 90 days and leave it up to them how they do that. But folks, those are my top five exit strategies on performing notes. And we'll talk a little bit more about this and I'll tell you a little bit about our university where you can learn all this just in a minute after this commercial break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. 